Start with the biggest animal in your ice cube tray and identify it using the Waterbug app or the paper version of the ALT keys. If the animal is particularly fast moving, try stranding it by only giving it a drop of water to move in. You can also keep it in the spoon while you identify it. This will also make it easier to photograph if you're using the app. You may need to use a hand lens to see some of the features. Light also helps to see some of the finer details. After completing the habitat page, select Next and then tap on the first cell of the ice cube tray, the one with the cross in it. At this stage, you need to decide how you want to identify your animal. You can either use the keys or you can use Speedbug. If you do use Speedbug, you simply scroll through the silhouettes of animals until you find one that roughly matches the animal that you're trying to identify and click on it. If you are using the key, follow the steps to match your bug to a name, then click Add to Sample and record how many you see. This allows the scientists on the Waterbug Blitz team to verify the data. Once you've taken the photo, select Save. Your bug will appear in the ice cube tray on screen. Then add the rest of your bugs to the tray. Select Next to view the quick survey results on the next screen. You'll get a signal score and a quick interpretation. And the final step, click Submit. Make sure you return your bugs to where you found them, alive. If you are using paper data sheets, record each bug by putting a cross alongside the animal's name in the appropriate abundance column. Keep a rough record of the number of animals. If you need to, you can scan your paper data sheets and email them to the address below. Once you've submitted your data, it will be checked by the Waterbug Blitz team and uploaded to the National Database. There, you can view the health of waterways mapped out across Australia. If you are using the app, you have the option to become part of the National Waterbug Blitz accreditation program. It works in a similar way to the coloured belts used in martial arts. As you increase your experience in water bug identification, the higher up the belt system you progress. Your first water bug blitz will see you gain your yellow belt. If later on you become a blue belt, you may be asked to assist with the training of other people. <laughs>